next to space and concerns about the space shuttle endeavor. Normally, one or two pieces of debris might hit the shuttle during a launch. But yesterday, as many as a dozen pieces were detected. Not something to be taken lightly. Ryan Owens is at the Johnson Space Center. We are ready to start EMU checkout. Instead of staring into the heavens, Endeavor astronauts spent their first full day in space tediously examining the underbelly of the shuttle. What they found so far looks disturbingly familiar. A series of nicks and scratches on the shuttle's super sensitive thermal tiles. We have a bit of a mystery on the external tank foam loss. It's from an area that we don't typically expect to see uh, foam to be lost. About a dozen pieces of the foam on the orange fuel tank fell off during the first minutes of last night's takeoff. This picture of the tank taken after the launch clearly shows pieces of that foam are missing from an area just above the shuttle's nose. Astronauts are still trying to figure out exactly how much struck the shuttle and just how much damage was caused. The exhaustive inspection could take days, but NASA cannot afford to take any chances. And liftoff of Space Shuttle Columbia. In 2003, a chunk of foam the size of a suitcase hit Columbia's wing during blastoff, damaging the heat shield and causing the shuttle to break up on reentry. Falling foam, even pieces as small as this, have been a big worry for NASA ever since. Astronauts now even carry repair kits in space so they can fix those thermal tiles. NASA managers hope a repair job this time won't be necessary. There is nothing that we have seen on the orbiter that causes us any concern. But they are still looking. And astronauts will get a closer view at any damage as the shuttle docks with the International Space Station tomorrow. That's complete, Houston. Ryan Owens, ABC News, the Johnson Space Center, Houston.